Hello students, welcome back. Today in this session, we are going to learn about a new subject. And the subject is Environmental Studies Part 1. And it is also called as EVS Part 1. And uh, today we are going to learn about the life cycle of animals. Life cycle of animals, it is a science lesson. Okay, it is a science lesson and it is a little lengthy lesson so I am making it as a two parts. Now in the first part what we are going to learn. So introduction of the lesson that is life cycle of animals then the growth of animals. A chicken is born from an egg and the new term okay the new term which is there in your textbook that we are going to learn. So Let's start. I know that the situation is like this. You all are at home only. Lockdown is going on. Maybe some of you have the textbook or not. I don't know. But if you have the textbook, it is good. Well and good to open and keep the textbook in front of you. So that you can see the pictures here. Okay. Look at the pictures very carefully students. So first lesson is. The life cycle of animals. Uh, let me check your previous knowledge. What you have learned in your third standard. What you had learned in your third standard. So there are two types of things. That is living thing and non-living things. Okay. So living things. Living things means all the living things. Like plants, animals, we human being, we are also called as a human animal. You are a living thing, I am a living thing. Okay? So plants, animals and all the living things on the universe, okay, on the world is called as living things. And non-living things, what are the what are the examples of non-living things? Like anything. Okay? This marker is a non-living thing. Duster is a non-living thing. This cooler is a non-living thing. Whatever things you see around you, the things which will not grow, which will not having any life in it, is a non-living thing. Okay? Clear the concept of living and non-living things. So, living things. What are the living things? I told you animal, birds and human beings are the living things. Here in your textbook, some pictures are given. Okay, look at each picture very carefully. Okay, so can you tell? Can you tell? If you can able to tell, it's well. Otherwise, you can inbox me in your uh, your suggestion. Your answers can be inbox me. Here, the first picture is of a dog and a puppies. Okay, can you see the dog, the mother dog, and the puppies are here. And the second picture of butterfly and its end one it's called a caterpillar. Caterpillar. Then the third one is a hen and the chee. Then cat and kittens. Now we'll go with the sentences. Look at the puppies and the mother in the picture. Okay. Look, at, look carefully. Look at the puppies and the mother in the picture. Do you see some similarity? Can you tell me that do you really see any similarity? What is the meaning of similarity? Similarity means similar. Okay. Marathi to Munto Hotel, XRK this way. Okay. Samantha. Okay. So, can you see any similarity between the mother dog and the puppies? Yes. They look similar. They look there is a similarity between the dog and the and its puppies. Look at the butterfly and the caterpillar that has come out of the egg. So this butterfly, it is an adult butterfly, grown up butterfly. When it, uh, it is in the form of caterpillar, can you see any similarity? This caterpillar has emerged from the egg. Okay, it come out of, of the egg. So can you see any similarity between these two? Can you tell me? Do you see any similarity? Is there same? This both are same? These pictures are same? 
No. Okay, there are, there is very vast difference between these two pictures. It is not same. They don't look alike. They don't look alike. Okay, exactly this is not. Here, for the first picture, dog and the puppy, there are, there are the similarities. But here, there is no similarity. This difference you have to understand. And then you go to the third picture. Can you tell a hen? Can you tell that hen and chick, uh, chickens look uh, same? Yes. Okay. The chicks and the hen looks almost same. There is a similarity. Can you say, can you tell me that cat and kitten, do they look same? Yes, they also look same like the mother cat and the baby kitten. They look similar, almost similar. They are similar. But here this picture is totally different. These two ones and the mother, they look, they are the same uh, similarities between these three pictures, but here the butterfly and the caterpillar is totally different from each other. Okay, the caterpillar is the N1. Okay, it emerges from the egg. When uh, it comes out of the egg, the caterpillar is like this and after certain days, the caterpillar grows and it becomes into an adult butterfly. That stages, what are the stages of butterfly? I'll teach you in the next part. A hen lays egg. Okay. Now it's an universal question asked by everyone that what came first? Whether it's a hen or the uh, egg. Don't know. If you know the answer, please inbox me. Okay. I also don't know the exact answer. But let me check my students' knowledge, how smart they are. Okay. A hen lays eggs. Means you know that. Omri under the Okay, the hen lays eggs, and from that eggs, cheeks come out of those eggs. Okay, the hen which gives eggs after certain days, and the process will be taken place, and then the cheeks, small cheeks, okay, small small cheeks, they look so cute, huh? so they keep, they come out of the eggs. Do kitten come out of eggs? Have you ever seen this? Cat, cat ever gave a egg? But have you seen that? Have you seen cat's egg? No. Cat does do not give any egg. The kittens grows in the cat's tummy. Okay, in the mother's tummy. Okay. Yeah. Now we are going to learn the second point, that is the growth of the animals. Okay. The growth of animals. Now, tell me students, what is the meaning of growth? Growth ka matlab kya hota hai? Growth matlab badna, vikas hona, okay? Now here, we are speaking about growth of animals, okay? Growth manje, growth ka matlab hota hai badna. Uh, now you think that uh, all animals grow, okay? You also uh, had grown now. Okay, you are uh, previous class, you are in the third standard, now you have come to the fourth standard. So, there is a growth in you. Okay, we have physical growth, mental growth. Okay, understood now? So, see here, the growth of animals. The kid and a fully grown goat are not very different to look at. Okay, the kid, can you see the picture here? The kid of this goat is fully grown but there is no different at all they look similar this we discussed okay they look similar there is no not much difference between different between a kitten and an adult cat so i told you here in this picture also there is no difference between the adult cat and the kitten okay the young one they look almost same almost same this babies grow in their mother's tummy okay Tummy means stomach. Tummy ka matlab hota hai? Paid, stomach. Okay. So these animals, animals which doesn't lay egg, they grow in their mother's tummy. Tummy means stomach. Okay. These babies grow in their mother's tummy. And 
born from the mother's tummy they grow and they born from the mother's tummy too these animals do not lay eggs okay for example cat goat goat dog okay these are the certain examples of animals which doesn't give or lay eggs but some animals like crows spiders lizard lays eggs okay for example crow what is the meaning of crow crow matlab kawa okay spiders and lizards lizards means chikli okay they lay eggs okay wo ande dete hai now we'll turn the page and the page number 2 here third point a cheek is born from an egg okay the cheek a cheek is born cheek means okay small cheek is born from an egg so we are going to know in detail about it ants butterflies fish frogs snakes all are animals that lay eggs okay here in your textbook five examples are given like ants ants matlab chitti butterflies okay fish frogs snakes all are animals the animals but they lay eggs ye sab ande dete hain but do you but we do not often see this they animals but we often are not able to see this they animals because animals eggs because they are very small they are already the animals are so small ant okay ant is very small minute animal and can you able to see the egg no it is not possible the eggs of some very the, the eggs of the eggs of same very small animals are very tiny why you are not able to see because the animals are already small and they are the eggs are also very tiny tiny ka matlab hota hai chhota small we would hardly notice them we would hardly very difficult bahut mushkil hoti hai unke ande dekhne ke liye okay it is very difficult to notice them eggs so we do not come to know know that these animals lay eggs so this is the reason why we are not able to know whether these animals lay eggs or what but we know for sure that a hen lays egg i told you in the beginning also and in this chapter students specially we are going to learn about the life cycle okay the life cycle of two animals that is hen and the butterfly okay so this statement has become a true statements statement that hen lays eggs okay murghi anda deti hai it is universal truth and everybody knows okay hen uh, hen eggs are big enough okay big enough they are in a large size so we can able to see big enough to be easily seen easily you are able to see if the things are in a large a big size you are able to see but when the things are very small like a egg of an ant or a butterfly or a fish it is very small tiny you are not able to see them now the fourth point you are going to learn here is a new term a new word a new term is added here and it is very new to you so what is the new term hatch okay h a t c h hatch what is the meaning of hatch when a hen sits on her eggs to warm them she is said to be hatching her eggs what do you mean when a hen when a hen sits on her eggs to warm them uh, jab murghi ande par baithti hai uski jo body mein ka jo garam pana hota hai it gives to the egg it comes into the egg and slowly slowly there is a development in that eggs takes place and after like 20 to 22 days they a uh, babies develop inside this eggs and the egg shells break and the small cheeks emerges from the eggs emerges means coming come out of the egg shell so that process the process 
of uh, hand sitting on the eggs to give the warmth. What is the meaning of warmth? Garmi. Okay. So, to give the warmth of our body to this hen is called as hatching. It is called as hatching. So, hen is said to be hatching her eggs. Okay. A hen lays eggs. Okay. Again, this statement is that hen lays eggs. Okay. Murgi anda deepi hai. Warmth is necessary for the chicks to grow inside the eggs. Warmth, garmi, garmi bohat important hoti hai. It's necessary for this eggs to grow the babies inside the uh, eggs. So after laying them, the hen sits on the egg to keep them warm. After the hen gives egg, it is necessary for the hen to sit on the eggs to give the warmth of her body to the eggs. It is very important for the hen to sit on the eggs. This process is called hatching. A cheek inside slowly keep growing. The cheeks inside, okay, the new life inside the egg slowly, slowly starts growing due to her warmth. When it grows, it completely, the cheeks break the eggshells and comes out, okay. After I told you, 20 to 20, approximately, maybe differs also, 24 days also it takes, but Approximately 20 to 22 days, the cheeks completely develops inside the egg and that egg shells break and then comes out of the egg shell. The hen looks after its cheeks till they grow a little bigger. You can see, okay, when they're born, no, these cheeks look so cute, so small, okay. So, Till the cheeks grow little bigger, the mother hen has to take care of this small cheeks. Do you know, when a hen is hatching her eggs, I told you, what is hatching? I told you. So, when this hen is sitting on the eggs to hatch, that time it becomes aggressive. What is the meaning of aggressive? Can anyone, if you know, just please inbox me, okay? Aggressive means? angry okay the hen becomes aggressive for what she becomes aggressive for fear of her safety and her ex safety she she attacks if anyone comes near to uh, touch the eggs or they she's uh, she's scared that if any anyone will just take out her eggs or what so for her safety and for her Baby's safety, she becomes aggressive in this period. When she's hatching the hex, no, that time uh, the hen becomes very much aggressive. She attacks anyone who tries to go near the hex. Okay, you don't try this, okay? The hen will attack you. So she attacks anyone who goes near the hex to touch her to take away. Understood? So in this part, I have completed these four points. In the next part, I'll complete the uh, life cycle of butterfly. For now, 